Hello friends, this video on decimals part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now the next question that strikes our mind is where are decimal numbers on the number line? So when you look at the number line, you can distinctly see the integers, the positive numbers, negative numbers, zero, all of that can be seen on the number line. But what about the decimal numbers? Where are they? So do you think that the decimal numbers are hidden somewhere? Well, not really, but yes, when you look at the number line as such, you do not see them, but these decimal numbers are located in between these integers. So we actually need to locate them. So let us take the first example. Let's try to locate 1.6 on the number line. So how do we locate 1.6? So before we do anything else, let us try to expand this number 1.c just to see uh, between which two integers 1.6 can lie. So in 1.6, this 1 is at the 1's place and 6 is at the 10th's place. So we can expand it like this 1 into 1 plus 6 into 1 by 10. So this can be written as 1 plus 6 by 10. So this is how we can write it. So this shows that 1.6 is a number which is greater than 1. That is we add something to 1. That, that definitely means that it is greater than 1. So that tells us that 1.6 lies between 1 and 2 because the number which we are adding to 1 is less than 1. So 6 by 10 is a proper fraction when numerator is less than the denominator. So the value of this fraction is less than 1. So we are adding something to 1 which is less than 1. So that means the sum will be less than 2. So this shows that 1.6 lies somewhere between 1 and 2. So that means somewhere here, somewhere in between 1 and 2. So how do we know where exactly it lies? Now remember how we uh, denoted fractions on number line, we focused on the denominator. So here the denominator is 10. So we divide each unit into 10 equal parts. So this is how we divide the region between 1 and 2 into 10 equal parts. And this says that 1.6 is 1 plus 6 by 10. So 1 is here. After 1, we want 6 parts out of 10 parts. That means 1. 2, so after 1 you have reached till 1, so first you come till 1 and then from 1 you have to take 6 parts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 parts out of 10 parts, that means out of these 10 parts you will consider only 6 parts, so this is somewhere, this would be somewhere here, so 1.6 would lie here. So this is how we need to locate decimal numbers on the number line. So what you need to do, first you expand the decimal number to see which are the two integers between which this decimal number lies. So once you got that idea, then you divide the region between those two integers into 10 equal parts and then you locate that exact decimal number. So let us look at, so to be, uh, to in short, find its location between two whole numbers, divide the block between the whole numbers into 10 equal divisions. So these are the two important steps that you need to remember. So let us consider one more example. So let us consider example 2 that is 0 0.9. So if I ask you to locate 0 0.9, how will you locate it? So for that first we expand. So here 0 is at the 1's place and 9 is at the 10th's place. So therefore, this would be 0 into 1 plus 9 into 1 by 10. So this is equal to 0 plus 9 by 10. So what 0, that means this number 0 0.9 lies between 0 and 9 by 10 again is less than 1. So that means it lies somewhere between 0 and 1. So somewhere in this region. So what we do, we divide this region into 10 equal parts. And now how many parts we want out of 10 parts? 9 parts out of 10 parts. So you are already at 0 and now you need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 parts out of 10 parts. So this point would be 0 0.9.
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.